So welcome back guys for another review section. This time we're going to do the review of the player transfers, January player transfers. As you can see we can sign them for 980 contracts and we have a lot of uh, good players in this pack to be signed and it's very interesting which we can uh, choose. We're going to start with Joao Felix. Uh, he is creative playmaker but I would play him as a secondary striker because that is his main position and I would develop him as such so I would increase his ball control driven in tight possession around 88 I wouldn't go higher than that uh, 90 is overrated low pass I would increase around 80 and the rest I would do uh, to finishing to at least have 85 so if he can have curls and speed and acceleration and kicking power to be around 80 at least so that is how I would develop him also acceleration to give him offensive awareness and you will have perfect secondary striker who can play also on the well left side of the pitch as well and when the new uh, tickets come out for player position new trainers then you can uh, probably develop him to play on the right side and you have a perfect player who can play on both sides and advanced midfielder secondary striker and even a uh, striker himself but as i s stated i would play him as a secondary striker in partnership with two strikers and that that is how i would develop him if you want to develop him more as advanced midfielder so then your ball control drill in tight possession needs to be around 85 the low pass needs to be around 85 as well finishing needs to be around 80 uh, speed and acceleration as much as you can put higher and kicking power will increase with his speed and acceleration and that is how you would put him uh, he has outside curler, through passing, one touch pass, soul control, cut turn, sombrero master turn, double touch. So basically he has everything that is good for dribbling and everything that is good for uh, partnership with one striker. So, and his form is regular, so standard and depends on how he plays in Chelsea, you will have him on the pitch as well. So I would advise him to sign you. Uh, Jorginho orchestrator uh, the only downside of Jorginho is that he doesn't have that much strength and doesn't have that much uh, speed and what I like with my uh, uh, defensive midfielders is uh, for them to at least have strength and speed to be the slightly speedish so a ball control driven tight possession you can increase that on 85 front uh, low pass and lofted pass is good so you don't need to increase that at all um, if you want to have him more of passing uh, passing capabilities you can increase it to 90 uh, finishing you don't need with him because he's not going to be able to go that much in the attack and and, and finish maybe from the corners at, uh, at least but everything else no um, Defensive awareness needs to be around 85 and the rest you need to allocate on his speed and acceleration because uh, He is slow and physical contact is also needs to be around uh, 70 at least uh, Speed and acceleration speed needs to be around 75 acceleration at, uh, Also, and then you will have a decent uh, Orchestrator so you you cannot go that much forward with him because he's slow so you need to put him uh, more on defensive side of the pitch so yeah one touch pass through passing weighted pass pinpoint crossing lofted pass uh, gamemanship interceptions and captaincy so yeah decent orchestrator who can do the job but mm, I would say he would be a backup for division one place Pablo Sorabia creative playmaker um, he can play almost every every part of the pitch except defensive midfield and center back but mainly he is a flanker and I would also develop him as a flanker as it is uh, low pass and lofted pass needs to be increased above 85 uh, dribbling tight possession and ball control needs to be also at least uh, 85 as well uh, finishing needs to be around 80 
so if he can uh, cut from the uh, sides and then score the goal uh, speed and acceleration uh, as much as you can put it higher balance he is good 75 but you can increase it on 80 as well stamina is something that is uh, terrible on him but he will, is going to be a good uh, player who comes from the bench as a super sub so speed needs to be around 80 and acceleration needs to be around 80 and that is how you develop uh, Pablo Sarabia and for the first time he doesn't have super sub card so um, he you can use him still as a super sub but he doesn't have the super sub card that increases his uh, capabilities in the second half uh, he has double touch dipping shot long range shooting first time shot through passing so yeah decent player to sign for division two plays and to be backup for division one when he when he is in form ruslan malinovsky whole player advanced midfielder and center midfielder but uh, best positions for the whole players also secondary striker is a good position for whole player as well uh, ball control driven that possession needs to be around 82 83 so he can uh, dribble a little bit with with the ball uh, low pass and lots of pass needs to be around 88 to 90 uh, finishing needs to be at least 75 so he can use those curls kicking power he has great so with the uh, finishing 75 and 86 uh, kicking power but when you increase his speed and acceleration he will have it more uh, speed needs to be at least around 75 and acceleration needs to be at least around 80 so he can have uh, offensive awareness uh, but with uh, 75 kicking power uh, 75 speed he will have kicking power 90 and finishing 75 he will have a killer sh uh, killer uh, capabilities to shoot from the long range balance needs to be around uh, at least 70 so he can control that ball better when he is running with it but yeah a long range curler knuckle shot dipping shot rising shot long range shooting first time shot through pass weighted pass so all the skill cards that are good and that increase uh, by 10 uh, the skills that you develop already so yeah he would be a good uh, for division 2 plays and also a good backup for division uh, division 1 plays so coming from the bench and having him to destroy everyone with the long range shooting like uh, Steven Gerrard like Lampard like Scholes so yeah that that is his main objective next is Dan Lovren the destroyer as always when it comes to defensive uh, players increase defensive awareness in, in this particular sense you need to increase it uh, 85 and above and speed and acceleration those are the key attributes for defenders Defensive awareness, tackling, aggression, defensive engagement, speed and acceleration. Speed when he doesn't have the ball, acceleration and defensive awareness when he is uh, near the player and chasing him. So acceleration needs to be at, around at least 72. Speed needs to be around 75 and above if you can. Physical contact is good. Balance you don't need. He's not going to dribble the ball uh, with the ball. Uh, jumping you can increase around 80 as well so he can have heading for the corners um kicking power you don't actually need because well well let's face it you're not going to shoot with him uh but yeah defensive awareness 85 and above speed 75 acceleration 72 and the rest allocate wherever you can so yeah that and you will have a, a decent division two destroyer not division one he's not going to be able to play for division one but he's going to be good for division four ma uh, division two matches he's going to be uh good for four star teams for three star teams so yeah lovren is a go-to guy for you and man marking blocking heading area superiority sliding tackles everything that you need for your perfect defender next is alex moreno offensive fullback uh ball control driven and tight possession uh tight possession needs to be around 75 so you increase that low pass and lofted pass needs to be around 80 so he can have crossing capabilities 
if you want him to go higher on the pitch and cause the commotion. But uh, defensive awareness needs to be at least 75 for fullbacks. That that is low uh, ballpark range, 75 for the fullbacks for the for them to have a good defensive capabilities and taking the ball. Uh, speed and acceleration. Speed you can increase around 90. Acceleration you can increase also around 85. No, there is no need for more. And balance and stamina is good already. Physical contact you need to increase so he can take the ball with ease in the in the effect. It's because physical contact defensive awareness is when it comes to and then tackling and aggression is uh, most important when it comes to taking the ball with your fullback. So yeah, decent fullback for division two, uh, for division three as well. Um, uh, you cannot play him in division one because yeah, let's face it, with the ninety five and above. He's not going to cut it. So you can do uh, good with him uh, with four-star teams and uh, three-star teams as well. So yeah, decent, decent player. Zomer. I believe this is going to be the meta goalkeeper. Because when you increase his reflexes, they go 92 and above. Uh, uh, goalkeeping awareness goes around almost 90 as well. Jumping is already high, 79. Uh, reach is 78, but you can increase it to 88 or 80 something. Uh, catching and pairing, you can increase it around 85 and above. And you will have with Zoma the perfect goalkeeper. Um, Grantly, he is, if you increase his reach and jumping, he can uh, take those curls that you aim with Neymar at the top corner and with Messi. But if you don't increase that, then the only downside is going to be that he's going to concede those goals. Uh, everything else he will destroy. Every 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 chance that uh, your opponent has in 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 a 16 uh, yard box and all, all around that is is going to be uh, stopped by Zoma because actually I believe Zoma is going to be the meta goalkeeper as he was when we have international cup and I believe now as well uh, so. Uh, Zoma is a must sign player. He is going to be the best goalkeeper for Division 1 place. He's going to be best goalkeeper for any kind of place. So Zoma is the key uh, goalkeeper to have if you don't have Peter Schmeichel, if you don't have Peter Cech, if you don't have Dida, if you don't have Casillas, if you don't have Donnarumma from Italian pack. Uh, Zoma is your guy to sign. Uh, Sabitzer, whole player. Um, I would use Sabitzer as advanced midfielder, mostly, and with that I would uh, in increase his ball control dribbling and tight possession around 82-83, so he can have the dribbling capabilities. Uh, low pass and lots of pass needs to be around 85 as well. Uh, finishing needs to be around 75, so he can shoot and score the goals. Uh, good aggression and defensive engagement is good, so he can take the balls in the... Uh, mid part of the pitch uh, speed and acceleration uh, with speed you can go to 80 82 at least acceleration then you can go also 82 at least kicking power is decent with him uh, jumping and physical contact uh, well physical contact 70 at least uh, balance is de decent for dribbling stamina is good so he can uh, withstand a lot of pressure and play a lot of uh, matches and sorry not matches uh, a lot long on the pitch and he's not going to uh, get the uh, worn down um, he's good for division one plays and and he can be a decent a decent uh, addition to any squad because he can play on the flanks he can play as a striker he can play as a secondary striker he can play as a dance midfielder he can play as a as center midfielder and the whole player card uh, is activated on the center midfielder on the uh, advanced midfielder position and secondary striker so he can basically be a good addition to any squad he has long range curl rising shot long range shooting acrobatic finishing first time shot through passing outside curl 
fighting spirit, everything that is key. So yeah, good addition to any squad. Uh, Mudrik is the player that you actually uh, sign for dribbling and and cut inside to uh, pass the ball or cut inside to finish uh, ball control driven type possession needs to be around 85 with him speed needs to be around 90 acceleration needs to be around 90 so he can increase that kicking power to 70 something uh, he's not going to be your uh, finisher per se because let's face it uh, low uh, low pass needs to be around 75 uh, so he can uh, so he can uh, uh, pass the ball uh, finishing needs to be at least 75 uh, for him to finish with the curls as well uh, kicking power is weak with 90 kick, uh, with 19 speed he will get the kicking power around 75 i believe uh, jumping is not good physical contact is also not good balance is good for dribbling stamina is low for him he is a super sub so co coming from uh, the bench and 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 with uh, his speed and dribbling it will destroy the opponent's def defense who is out of stamina because with this new update the stamina is getting much pretty much destroyed uh, uh, around the 70th minute of of the game long range curler cheap shot control dipping shot one touch pass soul control scotch move double touch so yeah he cut and turn uh game and ship so yeah be decent decent i would say he can be a decent backup for division one place but most he will be good for division two for four star teams for the events with the premier league for the uh, three star teams uh, as well so yeah i would say decent decent backup to sign and i signed it uh Verkhost, target man uh, ball control driven type possession needs to be around 70 so he doesn't wobble that much when he has the ball uh finishing needs to be around 85 uh kicking power needs to be around 85 as well uh you need to increase his speed so he can have kicking power around uh, 85 physical contact is good you need to increase his jumping around at least 75 so he his height can uh dominate that much uh heading is with the aerial on the 75 heading is going to be 90 so yeah 90 something uh, so he will be good as well uh, acceleration you need to increase a little bit so he can have at least 82 or 80 85 uh, offensive awareness but yeah all around he would be a perfect target man good in partnership with uh, Joao Felix so you target Verkhoz pass to Joao Felix <laughs> and you score the goal or you uh, have one two with uh, Joao Felix and and Verhost, and you then use the stunning shot with Verhost and score the goal as well. Uh, decent for backup for the Division One place and good for Division Two place and for Division uh, for four star teams as well and for the Premier League uh, event as well. And last, we have Montes, who is build up, and I would say he can be a decent defender, and he is going to be for division two, for four star teams, and for three star teams. You increase his defensive awareness around eighty five. Uh, speed and acceleration needs to be around seventy five as well, and the rest you allocate on his physical jumping and physical contact so he can have uh, good aerial capabilities even though he has height and yeah he would be a decent backup with heading weighted pass and aerial superiority i believe that this is the heading in and aerial superiority is good weighted pass i don't know why he has it but okay yeah all around the players who you need to sign from this pack are Jean Felix, Zoma, Sabitzer, Jorginho, Mudrik, Sarabia, Malinowski, Verhost, Lovren, and Moreno. In that particular order, those are the best players 
from this pack. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. We're going to see each other again on the streams and in the next videos as well. Uh, this video wasn't from the stream, but uh, everything is going to be linked down below in the description. And uh, if you like it, uh, press that like button and subscribe to the channel so you help me grow and have more videos like this as well. Uh, thank you and bye-bye.